Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll show you how to configure Vion in Astro Workplaces and have them controlled by Vion Master application. So let's get started. I've already downloaded Vion in my Astro computer, as you can see here, and in my Vion Master computer, which I'm using Atsui Notebook and this one Astro Workplaces is our uh, lab computer so let's get started close this uh, to download the vine program go to their website and in the download space download the windows 64-bit setup file if you're using 64-bit operating system and if you're using 32-bit operating system then download 32-bit i have already downloaded so i'm not going to download again downloads Double click. Click next. I agree. Next. Now, for master computer, find master needs to be checked. While for client or Astro workplaces, this will be unchecked when installing. So let me install find in client computer or Astro workplaces as well. And as I mentioned earlier, uncheck Vine Master and install. And let me uncheck it and finish. I will run it manually later on. So let me get back to the server. Now on server, choose run Vine configurator if not checked already and click finish. And head over to locations and computers and maximize in locations go down and click plus button um, because it's in dark mode so it's the button plus is not showing here let me change it to light mode okay let me close and open again Fine. Configurator. Okay, locations and computer maximize, and as you can see, plus button here, plus new location. You can rename it by double clicking it. Let me name it as lab, and with the lab selected, head over to computers and click plus button for the number of workplaces that you have on the Astro PC. So, in my Astro PC, I have 12 workplaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let me rename it. Lab 1, Lab 2, and so on. Now, after we have named it, we need to enter the host, host address or IP address. Host address basically means device name of the client computer, which is here. Device name is lab. I'm going to use that instead of using IP address because in Astro Workplaces, if you have dynamic IP address, then every time your computer takes a new IP address, then the clients will not be able to connect with the Vine Master program. So it's better to use the host name and just adding hostname is not enough since we have 12 workplaces we need to know which workplace is which one so we have we do that by setting port number and by default the port number is 11100 if you don't set any environment variables for viances and id which i'll show you later on then by default it will use port 11100 and in my case, I'll be using 11101 port for the main workplace, and the subsequent workplace will be increased by one number. So, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So, after all the ports and the host name as well as the names have been set, click apply. And it locks that uh, the Vine service should be restarted. Click yes to restart the service. 
now we are done with the server close it and if you open wine master we have to enter the username and password for the currently logged in user account as you can see here of this okay so wine has started now head over to the left side and you can see our location lab and the 12 computers or 12 workplaces that we added check them and let me go into the client computer and open client configurator pro here in the client we don't have to do anything except on service we have to set multi session mode and once you have set click apply don't forget to click apply and if not already set here in plugins for vnc choose built-in vnc server so that you can remote into the workplaces individually now we have to set the vine session id um, in this first workplace i've already set it but to go there you have to open environment variables or just search envr and ambient environment and you'll see here You'll see two options one is for system variables and one is for your local account and click your account and you'll open the environment variables and here you have to set fine session id and the session id number let me delete it and add it again fine underscore session underscore id one so since this is main workplace i'm using the session id as one for every other workplace you have to set the session id in uh, increment of one and after setting it uh, you have to restart the astro workplaces once in order to for the environment variable to take effect and for fine service to take that fine session id and use it for connecting with fine master so i'm back after enabling astro and rebooting the computer and let me connect to the server again, find server, one thing I forgot to mention earlier and that is you have to create shortcut for find server.exe to your startup folder or create a tax schedule so that it's it starts when windows log on for each of the user accounts and uh, in my case i've created shortcut for find server exe on the startup folder for each of the user accounts as you can see here find server dot exe shortcut so i've done this for every user account that is in the computer so i'm currently in robby sdha I'm going to check the Jira one user account and you, we have here the Vine server exe and as you can see the main workplace is already showing up here so let me start the astro workplaces okay uh, one of the workplaces has already started let me first log in once and yeah so second workplace is showing up here let me start the third fourth and so on. okay third workplace fourth they are going to start one by one and if we monitor here now lab three is appear lab four this is the fourth workplace fourth number and so on and other workplaces will start as well. So five. And for each of the workplace, you can lock them like this, and it will show a lock screen on lock icon on the workplace like this. And similarly, you can unlock it. Also, you can log off the user account, but uh, you cannot log back in as Astro does not support the quick user switch and that causes the login to not work properly now let me try send a message from here and it's 
workshop yeah as you can see you can send messages from the master control application to each of the workplaces as i send it here let me send it on this one also and i can see it on the screen here yeah as you can see here let me remote view you can see the message is displayed there so um, a lot of the features is available in as fine master and you can log in you can show your screen to all of the workplaces and you can start application on the workplace you can and that's about it for this video and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any question don't forget to write it in the comment of this video below have a good day